Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Well, you know, I got an email the other day from a person that I don't think English is their native language. Because when I first read it, it said, Dear Mr. Kevin, can you explain what a collie is? And I thought, well, okay, it, it's a dog about that big, and, you know, you herd cattle with it, and, and, well, then I looked at it again, and it said, can you explain what a collet is? Oh, yeah, glasses. <laughs> so what is a collet? A collet is nothing more than a, a sleeve that something would go inside of, and then that collet is made to be captured and hold on to whatever that is that you just put in there. You know, so they, they're used in TIG welding, they're used on the mill, they're used on the lathe. You know, there, there's plenty of different uses for them. So this is a collet when you're talking about TIG welding. And you can see it's got a slit in the side, two of them. It's hollow. Got this little shoulder on the end of it. And this is for the tungsten to fit down through. This goes into a collet body like that. And then when you put the end cap on the torch, that end cap actually presses right against that collet and shoves it down inside the body into that little taper that's at the end and that causes it to crimp and hold on to the tungsten. So these are a couple of mill collets and you can see you can see them a little better than the little TIG collets. You can see the slot cut in the side. There's actually three of them on this collet. The end mill would just fit up inside here. When you put it into the mill itself, it's actually threaded in the top here. So you turn the quill, I think, <laughs> you turn that knob up top and it would draw this up inside and actually squeeze this end and that's what would capture the end mill inside. And that's just a bigger bigger version of it. And then this would just fit up inside. You have to tighten the drawbar, I think it's called, the knob on top. And then the end mill is just captured inside because that collet just squeezed shut against it, held, you know, holds it in a nice firm grip, so now you can get to work. You know, the other kind that I have here is over on the lathe. So it's actually pretty similar to the mill collets in that it goes into a, a hole with a taper, your work piece goes inside here, and then it's got threads on the other end that tightens it down, sucks it inside, and that's what squeezes the collet down to hold on to whatever, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to turn. And it just goes in the end of the, the lathe. Your work would be inside here. And then this is threaded in the end on the inside, it meets up with the collet, and it just goes in from the back side of the lathe, and you just tighten that down, sucks the collet in, pinches it, grabs your work, now you can go to work. You know, rather than having, a, having a, 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 a chuck out there to have to work with, this way you've got a round piece, grab it, hold it, go. In the lathe, why would you use a collet to hold your work rather than a chuck? That's a good question. <laughs> the chuck, whether it's a three jaw, a four jaw, or even the six jaw that I've got over there, it's only going to hold it on those points. You know, whatever work you put in there, you know, like that little three jaw, it's only going to grab it on three spots. With a collet, you grab the whole darn thing. So it's going to be more secure, less of a chance of it spinning, and less of a chance of getting any kind of gur marks you know, in your workpiece if it happened to spin inside the chuck, where I don't think it's going to spin in the collet. So what do they cost? You know, 
the little TIG collets. They're about a buck and a half a piece, depending on what size you get. You, know, you can get them down at your local welding store. You can order them online. Uh, the mill collets and the lathe collets go out to um, MSC Direct. You can pick them up out there and figure about 15, 20, 25, 30, all depending on the diameter, you know, how big they are, is what they cost. So do you need them? Collets? Yeah, you gotta have them. At, at least when you're talking about TIG welding, you know, you've got to have the collet body and the collet. They've got to be the same size to fit your tungsten. So all three pieces need to be the same size to work together correctly. Uh, with the uh, with the mill, no, you really don't need collets. You have tool holders instead. This fits up into the same spot as the collet would go into, held in by the same drawbar, you know, same knob up on top. But it's got a straight hole inside here. The end mill has a flat spot ground on it, and then it's got a set screw. So you just put your end mill in, line up your flat spot, tighten down the set screw, get to work. Um, on the lathe, you know, yeah, it would work better to hold some smaller diameter stock. I think it would actually work better than like the little three jaw that I have over there that won't go quite all the way closed. And like I said, less of a chance of gur marks you know if it happens to spin if it's spin in the chuck the chuck's going to leave marks on it it's not going to spin in that collet you grab it with that it's holding it all the way around you're going to have a nice tight firm grip on that thing for whatever you're doing so i hope that answers your question it doesn't raise too many more but now i have a question for you guys and this is the only time i'm going to ask this would you guys be interested in a DVD of some of my videos. A TIG welding DVD, MIG welding, you know, arc welding, whatever. Would you guys be interested in a DVD? Leave your comments down here. Let us know. If we get enough comments, it's, it's a good idea. We'll go ahead and put some together, offer them up on the website. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go cool off. It's hot in here. We'll see you next time. Hey, <laughs> zipper head.